If you want to up your game being a blogger and really create consistent content that's findable, this is going to be your video. We are going to look at how to create blogging content easily and quickly that converts. Do you ever wonder what to blog about? Do you ever just like scratch your head and you're like, I have no ideas today. Well, I'm going to show you a secret on how to make blogging content easy and effortless in a way that's going to then give you tons and tons of content to share out to your social and your followers. When you're thinking about blogging, you want to not think about 17 pieces of content across 17 different social platforms. You might already feel overwhelmed just by thinking like that. And just because you post something doesn't mean that people want to see it either. So you have to be strategic around how you create your content. So let's start what I call the blogging universe. The blogging universe is where everything starts with the blog. Because you need that foundational piece of content on your website. And remember, blogs are on an RSS feed. And what an RSS feed means is it's really simple syndication, meaning that Anyone can go in and subscribe to the blog and then every time you update content, they're going to get a notification. Just like CNN or the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal, they're all subscription services as is your blog. And we can train Google to come back. I always think about them as like a, like a Scooby snack. Who's a good Google? Who's a good boy? Right? We want to keep snacking Google. So if you write a blog every Tuesday at 10, and you publish it every Tuesday at 10, Google will come back every Tuesday at 10. So you can train it to pay attention to what is most important. Take this, and let's say we've written um, a blog post about SEO content. Okay. So we've got SEO content is our keyword. Now I'm going to write that. I'm going to write 720 words. And that's what I end up writing about that topic. And the topic is SEO content. That's actually the topic of my blog. Now, once I've got that, then I'm going to think about, okay, I have to then repurpose it across a number of channels. And this is a big mistake I think that a lot of business owners make is that they try to create unique content for each social channel as opposed to starting with the center of your universe is the blog. Then you, from that blog, you create um, tweets, you create Insta posts, you create graphics, because those are the graphics that are on here. You're going to create um, hashtags. They're also going to be related to this post. You're going to create video. And then finally, you're going to take that blog and then just share it out to all of your social, just the link. So we're just going to share the link. Okay. So now what you've done is you've created a bunch of content from one single source. So let's talk about how do I get this blog out of my head? Well, a really easy way to do this is to talk to yourself. Open up your smartphone, you can download a voice recorder, and just walk around and talk about that topic. So I'll walk around, and this is how I did my second and third book, is I dictated it. I created an outline, and then I just walked around a hotel room for a weekend, and recorded all the content. Then I send it to a subscription transcription service called Rev, R-E-V. Now, what, what Rev will do is take that audio file that you just recorded and will then send you back a full transcription within an hour. So all of a sudden, if you're a speaker, a thought leader, someone who doesn't like to sit in front of a blank screen, then this is the way to go. Pop open your smartphone, talk about whatever, I'm going to talk about SEO content, and I'm going to talk all about everything I know about it. Then I'm going to upload it to Rev.com, and it's like Christmas morning. In an hour to two hours, you'll have 1,100 to 1,200, 1,300 words that are ready to go. Then you can optimize from there. So be strategic around how can I create content within my own organization or on my own. Another thing to think about is interview. So kind of like an Oprah-style interview, what we do is we roll into a company. We've already done a lot of keyword research for them, but we haven't gotten the content yet. So what we do is we sit down with whoever is the subject matter expert, and I interview them. I pull up the search result pages for that keyword, and then I look at what shows up on that search result page, and I see what is it that I can ask this person. So let's just mimic, pardon my drawing, not a very good drawer. 
So when you come up and you pull up a search result page, so you have your recorder turned on, then you're going to search. So here's your search box and you're going to search for, remember SEO content is what I'm writing my blog post about. So SEO content. I want you to look for a number of things. So there's 10 search results that show up. Okay. The things I want you to look at, so you have your guy here, whoever you're interviewing, and you have your, you have your laptop up and you're going to start interviewing him. What I want you to look for, first of all, is questions. You'll see those right in the search results. They'll show up right there. You're going to look for competitors. You're going to look for the searches related to, which is the ones at the very bottom, searches related. They're usually down here at the very bottom, you'll see a list of ones. So what you do is you just sit down, you have your laptop up and you're like, okay, great. Uh, you know, Hugh, welcome to the show. <laughs> have fun with it, right? Say, Hugh, welcome to the show. So tell me about SEO content and why is that so important for business marketing? So he answers that question. Then I'm saying, tell me a little bit more about your competitors in this space and what makes you different? There's competitors. Then if you see anything around here, it's like what other way can I use SEO content in my social media? Now you've interviewed him usually five to seven minutes and then you have it transcribed and boom, you now have a unique piece of content that's coming straight from the expert's mouth and you never had to write a thing. Do you see how cool that is? So give rev.com a try. There's tons of other transcription services. Rev just happens to be. I recently did 22 pages with a client and it was $85 total for all the transcription. And then we took those transcriptions and edited them and then tweak for findability. So when you're thinking about how can I create content, it's not about being a prolific author. It's about getting it out of your head or getting it out of someone else's head, do it through audio, have it transcribed, then you're going to have some fantastic content that not only connects, but converts. Give it a try, it's a lot of fun. So have I convinced you to be a super blogger now? Hopefully content is gonna be easy breezy for you moving forward. Make sure to subscribe, hit the button, and you'll get notifications of all my new videos every time they come out. And also there's some great goodies in the description below. Check those out. Oh, oh, oh.